And what did he say? He's a corporate man. Seven hundred fifty hours proved that I know I I deserve this job. I work hard for this job. I do things the best way I can to get the job. And what was your reward? They laid you off. They told me. Oh, I didn't tell them. And, and what you got to tell them today? What did the corporate Mexican say? The one that's doing the uh, hey, sanitation. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask him. Hey, excuse me. Uh, How much money you make? Hey, uh, you have a you can't call to do the job. No, not with you, God dang it. David, you, David, you ended up slapping one of the Mexicans. Look what they did to you in Los Angeles, David. They would play Mexican music. Well, they're over my machine. Right there when I was down there or something. Uh huh. You know, they were above looking at that big thing. They go back and forth with me. I have the doors on. This is the thing. Wait, freezes the shrimp. I guess when I go through it. Well, anyway, uh, they were looking at talking. Anyway, I asked the elevator, hey, what were they saying about the machine? They said, Oh, these little white things were going on the bottom of plastic things. They said they're looking black spots, but we can't get off the pressure washer. So yeah, those right there, they need to be changed. They need to have new. They have to change those. Take them off for new ones. So they ought to, well, like they do like Los Angeles, fire all the white people and hire Mexicans. I'm surprised they asked how come they don't have a David, the whole plant is Mexican. I know. Don't you think one department should be white? Don't you think one department should be white? Oh, oh Bill. Bill don't have no Mexicans. The maintenance. Oh, God, David. Oh, David. David. <laughs> hey, Bill, boy. Nick, shut up. They fix shit oh, just God, enough. Let him shut the Look at me. They fi he fixes the shit just enough to keep things going. He's like Sheridan. Look how they get that <laughs> concrete. <laughs> hey, I have to. You know, that you concrete. Know, hey, ask him. You never meet a guy I named Dave Sheridan. I can pour better forward than that, and I'm a bitch. You never knew a guy named Dave Sheridan. <laughs> I asked, oh, do you know James Sheridan? Now, do you get home? <laughs> Oh my God! He lives in Tacoma. God oh, damn it, David! He's all alive, dude. He's James Sher. Hey, man, find me. James was, Sher Guess what? All that about how big a big business was he had Yeah, no money, didn't he? He has. It's one. Like, remember how three fourteen was? Yes. Building was yes. one building like that. That's how these chicken hawks are. That's how them queers are. Always making themselves more important than they are. Um, right there in that neighbor, right there in that neighborhood, too, in Tacoma. What neighborhood? Right there by uh. Just don't tell me you live close to Grandma Patty. No, on the hill. No, it's not there. No, it's on from the hill. It is on the hill. It's on from downtown. From downtown on the top of the hill there. What do you call that? But. By K Street. What did the homeless say about him? The men that are on drugs and stuff. Oh, yeah. He nothing but a punk. And I said it. Just like I saying about Lee. He nothing but a bitch. And his wife. All this shit is bullshit. Bullshit. What is going on? <sighs> what? Elvis the king look Elvis taught so like Rick James you know all the great ones but they're not into this black lives have matter chicken guy Elvis looking down at Chinatown and said what the fuck is wrong with them niggas oh <laughs> anyway <laughs> Um, all right, I need my insulins. Look how tired she is. Uh, I need my pills. You can't be that tired. Patches, you need to get off mama's back. Patches. Mama, Patches, get off the backpack, mama. I need my insulin. Remind me to take my insulin after I drop you off. Patches, I'm going to need the purse. And the bag. Hey! Oh, this bitch. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No, Orville. I feel sorry for Dal. I do. I mean, to know, look at a man and know he's not a man or a boss or anything, yet he controls all the harm. The brakes are all fucked hey, up. Yeah, I tell those two guys, they're both those guys' corporation, they come over by me and say, mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm going to do? I said, see that stuff on the floor? I said, that's just kind of home, man. we got to clean this up. None of them work. Look at Gage, David. But guess what? What and is the... I came back. He fucking stuff, The pieces I seen on the floor were still there. Yeah. And the corporate... Cleaned it. The guy did. So I went back. I did. I went over and I made sure. It doesn't matter if somebody's working in my area. And I still and I and and I and they're there. And I go and do some something else or something. Guess what? I still come back and check to make sure. But do they appreciate it? Fuck no. Okay. Oh, oh, please. I feel sorry for Dale. I've had. Oh God, David. Bosses like that. Oh my Look God! State of Oregon. Oh, it didn't Look start until I moved to every Oregon. Pill I, every pill I took out, it made a perfect line inside. Orville. Inside. Um. Of the field. Just how I happened to buy the ball, they lined up perfectly. <laughs> I want to think. Shut up. David, these are these bosses no, you know are want? unique. That's what. It wasn't until I moved to Oregon that I found that. this kind of corruption in uh, California. That's the, that's the deal. We'll make a deal. When you start talking to me, I'll find a tie that they don't in your mouth. Oh, you want to get by? Me, maybe? No, tie that. that, that no, that you ain't going to do nothing. Your mouth. That's going to tie my flag. Bird, you're going to bury me. Now you're going to tie me. Careful, because it's going to see your taste she eats everything. David, where's the pill? I did some work. I got God, David, you yeah, you can tell I you're from Washington. No, I the oh my God. I don't want to hear it. I got a vote. Oh my God. That wasn't quick enough. So in 2011, they established a periodic review board, um, and that's the actual way to So it's how basically presidents are ordering it. But there is a formal vetting process that makes no mention of the tremendous power of the White House and the pressure. Well, Mike, you got to get on. on. And so President Obama. It's, it's essentially, I mean, despite the interagency facade, it's a unilateral Look at the skin. I know dollars. I know that. Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Oh, well. Just the way it is. But really, there's not a serious follow up there. And so, I'm going back to the battle. Now, is that a fact of the third of those who went to Guantanamo Bay? I've gone back to fight against the USA. Can you back that up with the source of the yeah. Well, the, the, yeah, the government, is, I think it's 17.4%, are confirmed as having gone back to jihad. Another almost 13% are suspected of possibly having gone back, which tells me they've gone back. But even if there was only one, there was only, and, and blew up a bus load of school children, that one guy is or an American army. Uh, vehicle uh, and convoy. Well, if you and even the 21, it didn't matter, did it? And Guantanamo, whether or not you think it was a great yeah. idea, you need some place to hold these people. When we took all of them prisoner, we had not thought of proof. And the Bush administration made two mistakes. The first one was it was capturing all these guys, many of them were reckless, they should have been killed in the battlefield. And the second mistake was when the global left and media turned Guantanamo into this House of Horrors, the Bush administration didn't fight back. No, I know. I've been down there twice. It's not a house of horrors. They spent all this money to do this investigation. But nothing. No. But they found out that between the 1700s and 1950, they're talking about me. It's a bit old, but it's a bit old, and 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 it's a bit old,
But all that money they spent on that investigation, that study, they could have fucking used that money to get the military. They need homeless shelters, not shelters. One wage money. No, 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 no. We don't give a fuck about that. No, no, no. No homeless shelter. Who cares what No, no, a little house. They don't they only cost right now. What can we do about what happened then? Fuck no. No shelters. And on their own okay. little black, no more shelters. Fuck them. It didn't work before. And it's showing the fuck it's going to work in the future. My right, children don't need shelters. Dormant. Don't Excuse me. Is this all the cash you have? You need more for that? You need more for that? Yeah. Okay. Think about what I did before you asked me. I spent fifty dollars at. I don't. I don't care. How much is there? That's why I don't want to think about that. Then why are you asking them? Here's more. What well, put it together? Much time. I need your help to keep this money in order. <laughs> Patches, leave mother's fucking purse alone. I'm gonna order that pan. It's twenty four dollars a month. Uh, no, um, God dang it, I can't vote for Hillary. Oh, hey, Jesus. <laughs> it's not funny, David. I'm laughing at her. <laughs> Got me <some> patches. <laughs> Mama's uh, gonna buy you. I ignored her. Holy cow leather from Israel, and you'll have that to lay on, okay? Oh, mm. all right. Oh. You see how you get frustrated? I get too horrible. Your reason. <laughs> yeah, see, motherfucker. <laughs> My reason is I'm in the Holy Ghost. There you go. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. Put it in the paint bank. I'll do it. No, I'll take care. Patches, you're gonna have to get it out, baby. You all take this off. Thank you. You get it, Charlie. The cops are. Dangerous as is the community. Yeah.